Now, in case you missed it, Biden delivered his State of the Union address this evening. He spoke for almost an hour and a half at length on pressing issues and his vision for America's future. He delivered his remarks as his approval ratings hovered just below 40 percent. And he faces an almost certain rematch with former President Donald Trump this fall, who himself is facing legal challenge after legal challenge. He began his speech by addressing the war in Ukraine and Russia's aggression, asking Congress to continue to fund war efforts in Ukraine. He also defended his record on the economy, saying he has slashed inflation and created hundreds of thousands of jobs. He also proposed a $5,000 credit for new homeowners. As expected, he criticized House Republicans for their rejection of a bipartisan bill that would have addressed problems at the border and saved lives. That bipartisan bill would hire 1,500 more security agents and officers, 100 more immigration judges help tackle the backload of 2 million cases, 4,300 more asylum officers, and new policies so they can resolve cases in six months instead of six years now. What are you against? One hundred more high-tech drug detection machines to significantly increase the ability to screen and stop vehicles smuggling fentanyl into America. That's killing thousands of children. This bill would save lives. spoke about the overturn of Roe v. Wade directly in front of the Supreme Court justices who overturned it, saying that he would support its codification if Congress were to pass the necessary legislation. He wrapped up the speech by centering on his age, joking that he was used to being told that he was too young, based on his early life experience as a public defender, city councilman, and senator. Further, he said the real danger were old values still lurking in America. My predecessor and some of you here seek to bury the truth about January 6th. I will not do that. This is the moment to speak the truth and to bury the lies. Here's the simple truth. You can't love your country only when you win. Alabama Senator Katie Britt delivered the Republican response to the State of the Union. She framed her comments through the lens of family, disputing much of Biden's record and arguing that Americans need to have a tough conversation. The American family needs to have a tough conversation because the truth is we're all worried about the future of our nation. The country we know and love seems to be slipping away, and it feels like the next generation will have fewer opportunities and less freedoms than we did. I worry my own children may not even get a shot at living their American dreams.